Hello students, in this today's class I want to explain ozonolysis, what is reductive ozonolysis, what is oxidative ozonolysis, what are the different types of products formed in this ozonolysis reactions. Okay, so first I will start with one example. Here I have taken propene. So propene I am treating with different reagent. In these two common reagent is ozone okay followed by different reagents you see this first i have taken propene and i treated with what ozone zinc plus water so whenever you treat that is called reductive ozonolysis what is that reductive ozonolysis keep it in your mind reductive ozonolysis then in this what are the products aldehydes and ketones are general products formed in this here you need not to do anything we all know very well one simple trick what is the trick here break the double bond and this side one oxygen you write this side one oxygen you write simply if you cut like that and if you write that oxygen you will get the products in reductive ozonolysis but there is a small difference in the oxidative ozonolysis what is that oxidative ozonolysis i will tell you here in this metals we are not using okay so here in the oxidative ozonolysis OO, oxidative ozonolysis ozone and water are ozone are by followed by hydrogen peroxide you can take it like this whenever you cut this double bond and write both sides oxygen then what will happen the products uh, we are getting generally reductive ozonolysis what is that aldehydes and ketones ketones never be changed but aldehydes well will convert into carboxylic acid so you need to keep it in your mind and ch2 will be double bond ch2 will be converted as like carbon dioxide and water i think you may get like little bit confusion how to understand this i want to explain these two reductive and oxidative ozonolysis in detail manner so once focus in this content so here see i am taking so what is reductive ozonolysis which reagent we use here you see generally O3 we write but some books or some re generally we use what O3 but actually what do we need to use O3 plus carbon tetrachloride and heat followed by zinc you can use for the reductive ozonolysis or else ozones carbon tetrachloride heat followed by zinc plus water or O3 CCl4 carbon tetrachloride heat followed by dimethyl sulfide. If you use any one of these three, very simple reductive ozonolysis takes place. That means here cut the double bond on both sides, you add one oxygen, those are the final products. But various here O3 CCl4 temperature. Generally, you need not to represent that uh, CCl4 and uh, heat, O3 also enough, okay. Followed by water, if they give oxidative ozonolysis, it converts, okay. Oxidative ozonolysis. Now, second you can take it, what is that? Ozone, carbon tetrachloride, heat, followed by what? H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. Then it is also oxidative ozonolysis converted to or drive towards oxidative ozonolysis whereas coming to the general strong oxidizing agents like KMnO4 or like K2Cr2 O7 uh, if you take like that so KMnO4 you take in acidic medium or hot medium they drive towards oxidative ozonolysis just you keep it in your mind these reagents which we are using for the oxidative ozonolysis and reductive ozonolysis. Here the final and very important point in this case is what are the products in reductive ozonolysis? The products in reductive ozonolysis aldehydes and ketones. Both may be aldehydes, both may be ketones based on the reactant. Okay, or one may be aldehyde or ketone. Whatever the products in reductive ozonolysis mostly aldehydes and the ketones. But whereas coming to the reductive ozonolysis, what are the products? The aldehyde which are formed, they convert into carboxylic acid. Keep it in your mind, very important point. Aldehyde which are formed, they convert into carboxylic acid. Sir, what about ketones? Ketones never be changed, they will be like that only. 
okay so this one is very important point if two products are aldehydes they convert into definitely what carboxylic acids two are ketones ketones never be converted ketones will be ketones only i think you may get one doubt what is that here double bond ch2 groups are present that means double bond is in the terminating position or end position then the ch2 group will be converted this is nothing but oxidation oxidation is uh, ch2 double bond ch2 will be converted as like co2 under h2o so i think you have uh, main complete idea on this now we solve one question which is given in our je 2023 april session see what are they asking once observe it here they are asking about two hexene by treating with ozone and water what are the products you need to have clarity ozone and water they did not give any metal so that means which uh, diversion will it takes either reductive ozonolysis or oxidative you all know very well it is oxidative ozonolysis so now cut the double bond this side one oxygen this side one oxygen you can write it then generally we get aldehydes but you know very well in oxidative ozonolysis reaction never be stopped at aldehydes they convert into carboxylic acids okay so that's why the products the final products of this reaction is what acetic acid and butanoic acid have you got it or not so this is answer for the je 2023 april session thanks for watching bye bye